Hey everyone, Noodle here with a really quick and important video for all of my Flamer brothers and sisters. Today's Tuesday, that means we have a ton of fun new stuff in the Atomic Shop and I'm sure you're already all caught up on that, so I won't go into the details on every single new item in the Atomic Shop, but there's one that's particularly exciting that got my attention right away and I went and did all of my dailies and leveled up on the scoreboard to grab some more atoms so that I can spend them on this thing. Death's Breath Skin of Four of Flamer. This thing looks so badass. I had to have it. You know I love my flamers, and a lot of you love your flamers as well. I was particularly excited about this thing because I am always running around with my Holy Fire, which I consider to be a flamer. So I bought the thing, and I took it over to my workbench just to discover that Bethesda does not consider the Holy Fire to be a flamer. Even though it has a fuel tank and uses fuel and produces flames when it kills people, the Holy Fire is its own separate weapon, not in a flamer category, which means we can't actually apply this really badass skin to our flamers. I was a little bummed about that, but I already spent all my atoms, I got the giant letter set as well, so I literally spent all of my atoms and I figured I might as well put them to good use. So I made a brand new flamer, just a regular flamer, I'll throw some legendary mods on it later, and I applied the skin to that, just to show you guys what it looks like. And it looks absolutely amazing! This is so badass, guys, the level of detail on this is just extraordinary, both in the little preview and actually in real life when you're holding the thing and using the thing. It's incredible. But for me, it's going to be for aesthetics only. It's beautiful, but I don't run around with a flamer. Why would I if I have the holy fire? Once upon a time, when I just got the cremator, I did a review comparing a regular flamer to the holy fire to the cremator. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, I'm gonna put a link to that video in the pinned comment so that you can check it out. It's uh, quite extraordinary and it kind of put me off regular flamers forever. I didn't expect this to work on a cremator, but I did expect it to work on the holy fire and it just doesn't. So huge, huge warning to everyone who is a holy fire person like myself. If you are planning to paint it, don't get this skin because you're gonna waste it. If you want to get it just as a collectible item to throw it on a regular flamer and put it up on your wall or, I don't know, just equip it to take a whole bunch of selfies with it, I'm not dreading getting mine at all because it does look extremely cool, so I'm just going to use it for videos, for posing for videos, but I'm not actually going to run around with a flamer. So, bittersweet, bittersweet, but I thought it was important to let you guys know as soon as possible. Some other things on the menu today that I now can't afford at all are the Super Duper Mart bundle, which of course includes the Super Duper Mart building. Looks pretty interesting, not at all in my style, but very, very interesting. The Super Duper Mart letters, those are ginormous, so I got those. I've been on the market for really large display letters for a long time. So now I can put GA on all of my camps. Yay! The other thing that Oscap and I really liked was this refrigerated display case. That looks really cool. Again, can't afford it anymore. This checkout counter, if you're into diners and restaurants, this could be interesting. Again, not really my style, so I wasn't I wasn't into that. I have all of the vending machines already. This thing I thought was the ugliest thing on the planet, so I didn't really care. This power armor looked very unusual to me. If I was into power armor, I would consider getting something like that. But no, I chose to spend all of my money on this thing. So yeah, hopefully I've given you enough warning on this. Don't buy it if it's for the holy fire. Buy it if it's just for pretty. That's all I have for you today. Um, noodle pants, one half of Game Aviator. And until next time, keep your atoms safe and do your research before spending them. And also, stay safe out there, vault dwellers.
where the shadows creep and sway. Cause a land of rusted dreams where the brave dare not stray. At the age of oh, it's a treacherous ride with dangers untold and nowhere to hide.